Kate's Craft Corner. I'm Kate and this is my corner. Today we're celebrating a controversial holiday. Columbus Day! The day in which Columbus was born. Into a legend, when Columbus discovered America, the natives were already here. At least long enough to build their teepees. And if they're anything like me at camp, that was at least a full weekend. I may be bad at camping, but I'm really good at giving up. Speaking of camping reminds me of that time my whole family went camping and my mother, this classy lady, called me in while she was number twoing and she said, Look, Kay, I'm making you a twin brother. She was referring to a turd. She's the most quick-witted person I've seen while DMing. Let's get cracking! I imagine you already got up and put up your Columbus Day tree and you're ready to host your Columbus Day party. Perfect! Today's craft is inspired in a classic prank that Columbus and his goons used to do to the natives. Distracting them with mirrors while they took their gold. It's today when the natives have their last laugh. Gold may cost a bunch of bucks, but you cannot put price on knowing when to take lipstick off your teeth. Today we're making mirrors to lure your friends into the party. Whoa, I've been lured into a party. Cool. Mm, but Kate, what if I'm not hosting a party? That's fine. You can use the mirrors to lure your friends into walking into poles, traps on the ground, and just playing circular around. Here's what you're gonna need. Sticks, thread. For the sticks, you can just collect twigs from the ground. It's fall, so no need to whine about it. Okay. Step one, make sure the stick won't break easy. Step two. Tie the thread to the stick. It should be long enough to be at your new Reese eye level. For reference, you can go on Facebook and see pictures of your friends to see how much taller and happier they are. I want to lure Ned into my party, but there are no pictures of us next to each other and we're not Facebook friends. What I would use as reference is all the fantasies I've had of him. He's about this tall. Step three, count to three and cut the thread. Three, two, step four. Tie the thread to the mirror's hole. If your mirror doesn't have a hole, do not panic. We're gonna use the most delicious kind of glue. Gum. Open the gum package by being a beast. Warning, do not drink cold water while you're chewing gum. It will turn into a rock. Take the gum out of your food hole and stick the thread and the mirror together. It should look something like this. Step five, lure, lure away. Come to my party. Well, that's all for today. See you next time in Kate's Craft Corner when we'll be making more crafts. Don't remember to subscribe. I mean, remember to subscribe.